Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going through my Harry Potter collection. <laughs> this video has been highly requested and by highly requested I mean literally four people asked me to do it so that is enough for me to warrant doing a video. I've had a couple comments on some recent videos basically just saying can you give us a little like haul of your Harry Potter item, a little video talking about the items that you have, where you've got them from, all that good stuff because I have a lot of new subscribers from my Harry Potter short so I thought I would make a long form video for you all as well. To get into it I just wanted to say if you are new here and you enjoy Harry Potter content you already know what to do hit the subscribe button down below. I was like gathering my like Harry Potter bits together to film this video last night. I surprised myself with how much stuff I had I didn't actually think I would have that much but like now it's all together in like a pile. There's a lot of stuff here so let's just get straight into it. The first item we have is this adorable Gryffindor throwing him about this adorable Gryffindor Build-A-Bear obviously from Build-A-Bear and he's called Albus my boyfriend got him for me I think not last Christmas but the Christmas before that's when I knew my boyfriend was the one for me like he totally gets me how adorable is this like he has a little like Gryffindor cloak on and like it comes undone here and he has a little like shirt on with a little tie and how cute is this by the way his little ears come out of like a little hole in the top of his cloak the only outfit he has at the moment i have some other outfits for him that aren't harry potter related but i don't have any more harry potter related outfits for him but honestly i think he looks adorable like this because obviously if you didn't know i'm a gryffindor so my bear has to match or my child if you will next up let's do some ones because the ones are some of the most exciting bits for me okay so our first ones Professor Dumbledore, obviously. This one's the most recent in my one collection, actually. I think I got this the last time I went to the studio tour, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I did. I remember it now. So, obviously, Dumbledore's wand is the Elder Wand. Look at the detail on this. It is beautiful. It has these, like, ridges. I don't know how else to describe them all along the wand, and it's like, you can feel the power when you hold it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it is a powerful wand. You can just tell it's just beautiful very essential to the actual plot line of harry potter as well i don't ever see myself getting rid of these ones like i fully feel like when i'm 80 years old i will still have these ones and probably in the original casing as well just because i think these cases are quite cool this was my first official one that i bought and this is harry's wand. you can tell that this is like an earlier one because the packaging is different um but i also bought this from the studio tour i bought this when i went with my dad but I think on my 18th birthday, I'm pretty sure that's when I went. So a good like nine years ago now. And Harry's wand is quite simplistic, really. Like I do like the detailing around here. I think that's quite nice. But pretty standard wand. Very cool. Again, will most definitely be keeping this with me for life. Next wand is technically a wand that I've inherited because it was my dad's. Um, so I've sort of just inherited it from him. And he bought this at the same time as I bought Harry's from the studio tour. So they're pretty much all from the studio tour. And this is Sirius Black's wand. Dad was a big fan of Sirius Black. Really liked him. Um, and again, this is a really beautiful wand. Like the detailing on this one is like incredible. Like it's basically engraved all the way around with like cool ass designs um i wish i had more technical terms for this but no it just looks cool to me i reckon if i if i were a wand personally i'd want something quite like simplistic like this do you know what i mean it's not too fancy but there's still some like intricate detailing going on i think that's very very cool so those are sort of my three actual affiliated harry potter ones there is another one that i have which is actually not a character one it's an obelisk one and i got this in like a harry potter sort of inspired mystery box and it's not the best one but i thought maybe i should include it in here anyways and this is the detailing of it you can see the sort of like obelisk design going on there um but i thought this was kind of cool i'm much less attached to this one this one doesn't really have much meaning to me um but i believe it's from a company called unique ones and its core is topaz dust and the wood is maple the next thing i wanted to include is this has my dress on the front um so i won't show you that actually a ticket from london to hogwarts it's one way ticket through platform nine and three quarters and again i actually got this for my dad i think like for one father's day it's part of his gift and we've always kept it because it's very cute um and also we have an acceptance letter here as well which i just absolutely love it says, we are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Please find enclosed a list of all necessary books and equipment. Term begins on September 1st. We await your L by no later than July 31st. Signed, 
Yours sincerely, Minerva McGonagall. And then on the back, there's basically a list of like required items. Again, this is something that's very sentimental to me. I will always keep these bits because they are so cute. Next up, I just wanted to show you a couple of clothing bits that I have. Um, that are Harry Potter, which I think are quite cool. This is like one of my favourite sweatshirts. I wear this pretty much all the time. And it literally just has the Hogwarts crest on the front. I got this from Asda, by the way. Literally Asda George. Well, my mum got it for me. And it has the Hogwarts crest on the front. On the back, it also has Dumbledore's army. And a few different names of like members of Dumbledore's army. Like Neville, Harry, Hermione. And I can't put into words how snug this hoodie is. And how soft it is. I wore this when I went to the Harry Potter forest experience. And if you haven't seen, that is a vlog that is up on my channel. Um, I will link it down below if you want to go check it out. Um... But it's so comfy, so cosy. I can't believe this was from Asda, honestly. The quality is insane. This is definitely one of my, like, favourite sweatshirts. I wear it all the time. It's, like, quite oversized as well, which we love. The next item of clothing is a t-shirt with a print of the night bus on the front. Ignore the little, like, white bits of fluff on the shirt. Um, but it's just a black printed t-shirt with a picture of the night bus on the front, which is looking very, very cool. And it's plain on the back. But again, I think I got this in a geek gear box. And I honestly really like this. Like, this is just, like, a cool shirt to, like, chill around the house in, where it's, like, a pyjama top. You could, like, make it look quite cute as well if you want to go visit, like, the Harry Potter studio tour. Or just, like, to wear on the daily, do you know what I mean? But, yeah. Very cute. Haven't worn this one as much as I would like, but I am definitely going to try and wear it more. I have another top also that I got from Geek Gear, and this one is bright green, and it says, No foolish wand waving, which is a quote from Snape. Directly affiliated with Harry Potter, but it pretty much is. But there's no sort of, like, Harry Potter, like, trademark or, like, logo on there, but it, it, it is. Do you know what I mean? It is. It's a very cute, like, cosy t-shirt, again, to wear, like, probably like as a pajama top or something next up i have is some harry potter socks like i'm sorry but if you know me you've probably received a gift from me that is harry potter socks because they're just such an easy gift to buy for harry potter lovers these socks just literally have the different like crests on them and the different like house symbols and like house names and there's just one for each and again really comfy cute cozy ankle sock we have some more socks i think my friend rob may have bought me these and it just says Harry on these ones. These are long. Hermione run on this one. You literally, you can't, you can't have enough socks, can you? And also, I, I do have a Hufflepuff scarf. This was originally meant to be for fancy dress. Um, and I wore it on a bar crawl once that I went on. There was a Harry Potter themed bar crawl at university. Oh my god, it was so much fun. It was iconic. I dressed up as a Hogwarts student and for some reason... I think I got this from Primark back in the day and this was the only colour scarf they had. Obviously would have preferred a red Gryffindor one, but we're working with what we can here. But I decided to keep this because it's a nice memory and also, you know, maybe I'll need to dress up as a student at some point in the future, possibly. The thing I have is actually a notebook that my friend Laura got for me. And honestly, it's such a beautiful notebook. I think this is a pencil that you basically have to sharpen um, and that just like slots into the side of the notebook, which I think is quite cool and like adds to the aesthetic basically has like the press on the front and it says property of and then hogwarts so you can like write your own name your standard notebook really and it has like the little hogwarts logo at the bottom but the detailing on the front is really really pretty i feel like i'm kind of saving it for like i don't know when i need like a bit of a nicer notebook if that makes sense so that's very cute i don't know where she got this from but adorable i have this print um in a frame obviously and it just says happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light uh, which is like honestly one of my favorite quotes from the whole like series and my cousin has a small etsy business but it's actually not very small now they're like selling in shops in london and selling in like tk maxx like she's doing really well for herself and i will link her business down below because it's called Mother and Son Creations and she does like really, really cool graphic prints for your house um, in like so many different types of varieties. And she actually made this for me shortly after my dad passed away. And I have it in my room up all the time. Such a beautiful print. And as you'll see, you've got like a lightning bolt here and a picture of Harry and some stars. And it's just it's a really nice print. So I will link her down in the description box below. Speaking of prints, we have another print as well, which is a Quidditch World Cup print and this is a print celebrating the 422nd Quidditch World Cup so that's how long the World Cup has been running for now participating countries like listed around um on the poster as well but yeah I got this again as part of a Harry Potter mystery box and yeah it's quite cool like I don't really do anything with this at the moment and um, I feel like I've not really got anywhere to like put it up that would like match with the aesthetic of it I am possibly looking to sell this print actually so if anyone would be interested in it drop me a comment down below that is what it looks like. Randomly, I have four Harry Potter scrunchies 
um, this one just has like a newspaper print on this one has a Hogwarts print on this one just has a Harry Potter print on and this one has a Marauders map print on but honestly scrunchies Harry Potter the cuteness combined is too much next up we have two like sort of ornaments I suppose and this one is a chess piece I'm sure you'll all be able to recognize this one it's basically just like a little piece that you like put on display somewhere and you can just like have it like a decorative piece and I think it's quite cool actually like it looks quite like legitimate if that makes sense you now like diehard fans do have like huge sections of their room like dedicated to harry potter almost like a like a shrine to harry potter and i feel like this is the kind of thing that like a lot of people would use in those type of shrines um so if you're like a hardcore fan like defo would recommend getting some of these as well because they are quite cool like it's just like little collectible pieces and it comes in a cool little box as well i'm showing it to you upside down that's the box <laughs> next cool little piece also comes in like another chess related box i'm sure you're about to guess what type of piece this is as well we have yet another chess piece collectible again love this one i feel like this is quite like an important piece in the film as well do you know what i mean well that was too some of the actual paintwork on these like pieces isn't the best but i think that's kind of like to add to the sort of vibe of them like being thrown around in a massive chessboard i should honestly create a little harry potter shrine in my room i mean harry potter does make me happy it brings me a lot of joy so maybe it would be nice to be like reminded of that every day possibly so next thing i want to show you again not directly a harry potter product but like referencing harry potter and i believe this tote bag is supposed to be a sort of image of Ollivanders. this is just a sort of standard tote bag again really cute really nice so you should be like quite a big tote bag i don't know if you'll be able to sell that on on the camera next up i have a little like pin badge type thing and it's basically like do you remember in the Go goblet of fire where they had to basically fight a dragon to get a golden egg well this is what that pin is sort of like depicting it's like literally a dragon with a golden egg and it's like you can put this onto like your bags your coats anything like that sort of like personalize whatever you're wearing or like you can do whatever you like with the pin obviously um, and i'm yet to decide what to do with this i'm thinking about putting it onto a denim jacket but i don't know if i'm going to keep the denim jacket that i want to put it onto for much longer so i'm still kind of just leaving it here whilst i decide what i do with it but i think this is really really nice and it's a really nice quality pin i also have another pin as well which i think i like this one even more and it says fame isn't everything um coming out of a cauldron and obviously that's another snake preference next up we have this gryffindor bowl with the gryffindor crest on the outside and a sort of like red all around print on the inside it's obviously just a cereal but if it's a good amount of cereal in there like it doesn't look like super big but it's kind of deceptively large and i think i just got this from asda i'm sure this was literally like four pounds but i just thought this was really really cute my boyfriend has one as well in blue to go with that i have this travel coffee cup i need to use this more because i don't think i've used this once in my life it's not plastic it's like a glass this is obviously for hot coffee whereas i tend to drink iced coffees these two like kind of go together um even though i bought this literally years ago you know what i don't think i even bought this i think someone gave it to me as a gift but this is official harry potter this one is one of my favorites i really love this one it's the longest coffee cup slash tea cup ever and it says don't let the muggles get you down which honestly is something i have to think to myself every day like, who needs a mug this long i like the colors as well just the white and the red it just it seems very gryffindor even though it isn't and again i got this one for my dad uh which says quidditch captain gryffindor um, and team quidditch i think he was a gryffindor as well you know i don't actually know what he was and i have had many a chocolate frog in my time like too many these are the best chocolate ever they're so dense you literally break a tooth every time you try to bite into it. i've kept this particular chocolate frog um tin just because it goes well on display and it looks quite cute and i also kept this as well which is white chocolate covered honeycomb strawberry as well and again this one's from honeydukes i got these both from the tour these are delicious by the way all of the harry potter foods from the tour if anyone ever wants to buy me a gift for like christmas my birthday any of the food from the harry potter website or harry potter tour like i i would be so grateful like just you never you never have to worry about what to get me because i will take these any day and it would make my life it honestly would you not you don't understand i've also got these three cards as well which have been in multiple different chocolate frogs and i have which who was the first ever atlantic broom crossing and i have devlin whitehorn created the nimbus racing broom very cool iconic dude and then also we have hengist of woodcroft who the hell is that driven away from his home by muggle persecutors three broomsticks in is alleged to be his old home so i've basically just kept these cards i've obviously had more than three chocolate frogs in my lifetime but for some reason i just didn't keep the cards before but now i do keep the cards because 
Well, I don't really know why. I don't really know why I keep any of this stuff. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a hoarder who also loves to declutter. It doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, I've got another Devlin Whitehorn and Art Artemisia Lufkin. These, again, have been kept from like chocolates that I've had, like Harry Potter chocolate. Oh my god. And then, basically, I have to show you this, but it's falling apart now. So, I did put together, you know, a really greatly designed like Harry Potter Lego kit, and now it's falling apart it's all gone wrong um i should do this again really and like sort it out because it's it used to be a cool little bathroom scene in the girls bathroom like harry ron and Hermione. like stacy got me this as a gift and i just did it for fun and like you could like go into the chamber of secrets and like it was really cool um but it's just falling apart now but i do have some harry potter lego so i thought i would include that as well within this video and coming to the end of our collection now perhaps the most important collectible item we have is of course the very heavy books and i love this edition like the design of this edition is incredible like it has an overview of hogwarts on the back it's giving like night sky starry vibes and these books i'm just gonna try and take one out just to show you what the cover art is like because it's so pretty i'm sorry but how beautiful is this print it, this edition was printed in 2014 this one as well like i like how every different cover has like a different color theme that it's sticking with the five thickest book in the world i can't believe how quickly i got through this considering it's literally 800 pages like this is insane but like the cover art it's so beautiful is it just me is it just me like how studying are these books obviously read all the books but i imagine when i'm like a little bit older i'll probably end up rereading them because they're such a comfort book for me honestly and the final piece of my collection obviously like i can't go without saying we have a collection of the movies of course like your girl has the old school dvds i actually think some of these discs are scratched now so i can't actually play them properly because that's how long i've had them for like these i think these are some of the first dvds i ever had we rewatched them all recently using the dvds and i do recall that some of them <laughs> were genuinely scratched so they couldn't play the film anymore but look how young and adorable they look here like how how has the time passed so much? Like, I don't even know when this first film actually came out, but like, Dan Radcliffe looks literally like a baby here. This one, Dan wearing the exact same outfit in every film. Probably a fire, shit's starting to get real dark in this one, my friend. It's getting even darker in this one. It is getting mad dark. The darkest, honestly. My mom loves the first films because she's like, oh, it's all magical and cute and new and bright. And then just as it get goes on, she's like, no, I, I don't like them anymore as it gets darker because they're too dark. One of my favourite films ever, like period ever, is Deathly Hallows Part 2. I do really like the first one as well. That is obviously very magical. They're very adorable. But that just about concludes my Harry Potter collection slash haul. It kind of makes me want to buy more, but then also makes me think, no, Katie, you have enough. Um, but anyways, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you all enjoyed this one. If there are any other harry potter type videos or any other type videos in general that you'd like to see you can always drop me a comment and i take feedback on board um but i hope you enjoyed this one make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you for the next video bye <laughs>